Good afternoon, everyone. Let us start uh, today's afternoon session. I hope uh, the morning session was very informative. Now we are moving to the second session on social responsibilities of people of Cordilleran region of Western Ghats by Dr. Shrisha Kumar. Dr. Shrisha Kumar M. K. is working as professor in the Department of Sanskrit at Vivekananda College, Puttur. He has got 30 years of teaching experience. He has delivered more than 500 awareness talks on the topic water conservation all over Karnataka. In 2003, he has taken leadership of Jiva Jalapada Yatre from Puttur to Subramanya. In 2004, from Puttur to Dharmasala. Also, he has coordinated the Jiva Jalapada Yatre and Vijnana Kalajata in Dakshin Kannada district. He has also presented a number of papers in national and international conferences. Dr. Shrisha Kumar has constructed Padmini Ashwatthavana near Savanur and developed 24 banyan trees and 100 other trees. Moreover, Sir has conducted a lot of research work on Western Ghats and Himalayan region. With this brief introduction, I welcome uh, Dr. Shrisha Kumar to this FDP and request him to take over the session. Over to you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Respected chairpersons, resource persons, and my stakeholders, Parishat yes. Now I am presenting my paper, Stakeholder Responsibility in Conserving the Western Guards. As you know, we are all stakeholders of Western Guard. So, it is our responsibility to conserve Western Guard. Now, I am presenting my paper first. After, afterwards, we can discuss or we can uh, make some new challenges or ideas. Introduction. The highly ecosystem Western Guard are the gift of nature to Indian subcontinent. The Sakyadri mountain ranges have spread in a parallel manner to the coast of the Arabian Sea from Kanyakumari in the south to River Sapati of Gujarat. Since they act as a protective wall on the western front of the country, western front of the country, they have been named the Western Ghats. Out of total stretch of 1,300 kilometers, Karnataka occupies around 320 kilometers. Daksha Kannada, our own district has the land share in this that is around 100 kilometers. Though on an average, the height reaches around 1,100 meters, some summits almost touch the sky with their magnificent height of around 2,500 meters. The Sakhadri mountain ranges situated around 10 to 70 kilometers distance from the coast are famous as one of the eight main biodiverse regions of the world. UNESCO has identified 39 unique spots in the Western Guards range as World Heritage Sites and this has indeed increased the conservation responsibilities on us. The Western Guards today, it looks as though Western Guards are losing their very existence due to the insatiable greed of humankind, which seems eager to earn a profit effortlessly. The people living in the food hills of the Guards, who are earlier enjoying the timely seasons, rains and crops, are today subjected to the breadth of the mountain ranges. The first and foremost reason behind this is the human interference. Human mind are known from evergreen forest areas such as Kudremuk, while at the places, the trees are fell continuously. Natural flow of the river is changed and large dams shake the very foundation of structures. The natural forest cover is getting crushed under the jaws of the bulldozers while the animals are satisfying human extravagant taste buds. The life of the animals have become so miserable 
that the only way to ensure their survival is through the zoos. The wealth of Western Ghats. The Western Ghat has housed 75,000 animal species, out of which more than 50,000 species of insects, more than 4,000 species of molluscs, 2,000 species of fish, 140 species of amphibians, 140, 420 species of reptiles, and 1,200 species of birds, and 320 species of mammals are present. Out of the total 45,000 species of plants, 20,000 species belong to fungi, 5,000 species belong to algae, 1,600 species belong to lichens, 2,700 species belong to bryophytes, and 6,000 species fall under the group of petriophytes, and 15,000 species belong to the group of flowering plants. Uh, some of the unique in Canada we can call it as Kurunji flowers, plants of the area which flower once in 4 to 12 years. Old. Many species of orchids, such as lady slipper, which are endemic to the Western Ghats, are found here. In animal kingdom, civet cats or toddy cats, brown mangoes, Nilgiri Marta, Nilgiri Ta, Lion Tailed Macaque, Nilgiri Longa, Longa are some of the species worth noting. Yes. Responsibilities. This is my main subject. 100 Vidana Saudas can be constructed, but not a single Western Guards. Once again, I repeat it 100 Vidana Saudas, that is, legislative houses, can be constructed, but not a single Western Guard. This was a sentence heard frequently during the Save Western Guards moment. A Chinese proverb, when the last tree is cut down, the last fish eaten, and the last stream poisoned, you will realize that you cannot eat money. In Canada, Koneya Maravannu Urulisi Ada Mele, Koneya Meenannu Tindu Mugisida Mele, Koneya Nadiya Vishavunisi Ada Mele, Aga Nimage Tuliyutta De, Hana Tinnalu Barudilla, Aga Nimage Tuliyutta De, Hana Tinnalu Barudilla. Here too, the scenario remains the same. Once the Western Guards are destroyed, no one can rebuild it. This is possible only to the nature. It is true that we cannot rebuild it, but why can't we think about the possibilities of saving it? When we are ready to fight for our rights, why, why are we not more conscious about our responsibilities? Should we not think seriously about our own responsibilities during the time of extreme weather conditions, excess rain, excess drought, and unusual rainfall pattern besides carrying oxygen cylinders just to breathe easy? Environmental conservation responsibilities. The earth has given us the right to live in live in, live on it, but not to encourage its misuse or exploitation. Earth is patience personal, personified, but when we look into the frequent landslides, it feels as such, it feels as though the Mother Earth is angry with us. The Kedarna tragedy, natural disaster occurring in the state of Uttaranchal, is reflected in our own region, such as Shiradi Ghats, Charmadi Ghats of Dakshin Kannada, Somar Pete of Kodagu district, and the neighboring Kerala. Destruction of biodiversity. I have already spoken about the diversity of life in Western Ghats. Unless we develop a deeper understanding of the significance of its destruction, we will not be able to comprehend the responsibilities of its conservation. We feel threatened when we hear about the destruction of biodiversity in and around us. The elephants that were wandering about in the forests of Western Ghats have started to venture into nearby villages. We must think seriously about the fact that the leopards have been spotted in a city like Mangalore. Once I repeat, we must think seriously about the fact that the leopards have been spotted 
in a city like Mangalore. The Western Ghats in rich, the Western Ghats is rich in animal diversity. More than 85 mammalian species are found here. Tigers, leopards, bear, deer, barking deer, nilgiri langur, lion tailed macaw, giant squirrels, elephant, bison, sambar deer, chow singa. And once again, I am repeating it chow singa, a four horned small sized deer, have been recorded from this stretch of land. The birds have enriched the diversity of life in this region. Around 350 bird species have been record, recorded from this region. A great variety of hornbills, in Canada it is called Malahaki. Hornbills, long-tailed drango, fairy bluebird are very common to this area, whereas spot-billed pelican and floricon are the birds seen in this area, which are at the edge of extinction in the world. Nilgiri wild pigeon, Malabar grey hornbill, grey-headed bulbul, Malabar parakeet. The parakeets are the endemic birds of this region. Seven species of torrent frogs have been reported from Persian Ghats. There are numerous butterfly species of which, of which 138 have been reported from Dakshin Kannada alone. It would not be wrong to say that the king cobra, Kalinga, prefers the Western Ghats. Plant diversity. Western Ghats, familiarly known as the Rhine Mountain, contains a vast number of as yet unidentified floral wealth. A number of plants have been have been identified in small isolated patches of the Western Ghats, namely Kudremuk, Mukambika Wildlife Sanctuary, Someshwar Wildlife Sanctuary, Pushpagiri National Park, etc. Heritage diversity. The 1st of July 2012 is a day of joy for nature lovers. It is a day when the UNESCO declared Western Ghats as the one of the world heritage sites. The stakeholders' responsibilities have increased manifold when the people gathered at the distant city of St. Petersburg in Russia declared 39 spots of Western Ghats as the world heritage sites. The best thing to do in order to conserve biodiversity of Western Ghats is not to enter that area at all. I repeat, the best thing to do in order to conserve biodiversity of Western Ghats is not to enter that area at all. Our social responsibilities. One, protection of river sources and rivers themselves. The rain mountains are the life of the people living in the foothills of the Ghats. You know, Jivanam means water in Sanskrit. Jivanam, Aushadam, Vari, these are the alternative words for water in Sanskrit. The solar forests restore a large amount of water inside them, act as reservoirs and release water during summer as and when, as and when needed. But the recent developments are geoparadizing the very nature of these natural water reservoirs. Nature lovers must raise our voices against the projects such as Netravati River Diversion Project, Ethinole River Project, Berti River Project, which will dry out the very sources of water that life depends on. Along with this, rivers are be becoming dumping grounds to human waste as soon as they flow past the mountains. Household waste, sanitary napkins, agricultural waste, industrial waste, ceremonial waste from religious centers, all end up in the water bodies. So, it is the need of the day, need of the hour, to give a wake-up call to everyone regarding the dangers involved in such development. Large dams are shaking the very foundation of the gods. Reservoirs like Bunda dams are changing the biodiversity of the area and the elephant corridors are also changing. Protection from mining. From the moment of Ashangat caught the fancy of industrialists. From the moment of Ashangat 
caught the fancy of the industrialists. It has been subjected to continuous exploitation. The mountains are damaged by granite mining activities. The fertile soils from the Western Ghats is lost to sea due to continuous forest felling and mining activities. The noise of the dynamics is fatal to some sensitive birds and animals. We must raise a collective voice against this as a social responsibility. Three, protection commercialization. Forests, the children of nature, face a threat of destruction when they are treated as a commodity. Acacia and mangium plants are being planted in the Shola forests of Western For example, near Girigate of Kumara Parvata, and the eyewitness one, from Girigate of Kumara Parvata or near Parachadri, etc., the social forestry or the forest department planted acacia, mangium, etc. The commercial crops have already occupied half of Western Ghat. The guards at Agambe, Charmadi, Shiradi, Subramanya, Kadamakal, Madikeri, Somar Pete have turned into commercial plantations. If they are to be controlled, controlled, stakeholders must take the responsibility. If they are to be controlled, stakeholders, stakeholders must take the responsibility. Destruction in the name of tourism. It is not wrong to appreciate the beauty of Western Ghats, but it is difficult to talk about of people or nature in the name of tourism. Poaching and destruction of nature is the ways of homestay, nature stay, or continuing unabated. unabated. As is evident from the landslides and excess rainfalls incidents in Madikeri and Kerala, these have taken a toll on nature. Strict rules must come into force in order to prevent such developments. The confusions created in the name of tribal people. The tribal communities such as Malakudiyas, Koraga, Jenukaragas and the Soligas have never destroyed the forest. In fact, they are a study in the sustainable use of forests. But today, there are a lot of confusions created in the name of civilization. A comprehensive study must be conducted on the destruction of nature and natural resources by others in the name of tribal communities. Providing alternative land is not the only solution to the problem. It is to be noted that recently, the youth from the tribal communities are creating a lot of embroilment or a debacle. For example, Naxal activities, initiating a forest fire, hunting, etc. Tribal communities must wake up and take responsibilities about such anti-nature developments. Stakeholders' responsibilities in sustainable development of Western Ghats can be summarized in the following way. First, development of sustainable fuel energy resources. A great movement must be started throughout, throughout to encourage the use of solar power in every house in order to protect our rivers from hydroelectricity power projects. This will lead to simultaneous protection of our rivers, forests, forest resources and environment. This way, we will be managing the three-tier responsibility at the same time. Energy sources from agricultural waste. By generating fuel from paddy waste, coconut fronds, arachnid fronds, leaf sheep and other waste, cashew nut waste, cocoa trunks, rubber tree trunks, the burden on natural resources of Western Ghats can be re reduced significantly. Energy from gober gas. Gober gas generated from cattle driving, which is a part of agricultural activity in the foothills of Western Ghat. Further reduction in dependency on forest resources can be achieved. Wind energy generators. Small and medium scale units must be encouraged in the field of wind energy generators. 
eco-friendly enterprises and industries. Stakeholders of the foothills of Vashanga must consciously take up eco-friendly and food-oriented enterprises such as fishing, cashew, uh, cashew nut production, black pepper, etc. This will help in avoiding unnecessary burden on the natural resources of Western Guards. Water conservation projects. The stakeholders of Western Guards have almost forgotten the importance of judicious use of water resources. Borewells have been dug without considering the carrying capacity of the area. In its place, eco-friendly alternatives, agricultural practices and industries can be adopted. Road, railways and tunnel projects. The highest pressure and threat posed on Western Guards in the is in the communication medium. Recent dis discussions have been on construction of tunnel way, tunnel way in Shiradi Ghat. Instead of making proper use of the already existing railways and road networks, new plans of four-lane roads are satisfying the greed of some selected individuals. Once again, I repeat, satisfying the greed of some selected individuals. Once upon a time, the gas and oil pipelines were projected as the eco-friendly alternatives to the road transport. But gas and oil tankers still plan across the highways and blocking the traffic. While giving approval to such projects, government must think twice about the environmental consequences of those activities. The present society has the burden of responsibility equal to the size of the Western Guards themselves where conservation of resources is in, in concern. Nature is suffering under the greed of humankind. In this sense, the poem composed by late Shampa Daitota, one of the pioneers of the same Western God moment, is, I believe, is an appropriate ending to my address. Postuma, it is in Canada. Sorry, if anybody wants translation, of course, we can discuss about that. This is a beautiful poem uh, about the say Western God moment. Postuma gatta da betta da datta da maragala nuli salu nade nadeva dvaniyattara dali manadottara dali manava koti ke kare koduva maravire manava kadidava danava ulivina kalaga ghoshisuva maravire manava kadidare danava ulivina kalaga ghoshisuva maravan nuli suva margava narasuva navotta aguva dani tereva maravan nuli maravan narasuva maravan nuli suva maragala nadari suta bele beleva maradindale tanu maradindale mana marave manava nanu bhava maraguli dare male maraguli dare hole maraguli daralalu kolavella bele maraguli dare male maraguli dare hole maraguli daralalu kolavella bele maravittare mruga maravittare kaga maradalliruvudu jeeva jaga ulisuva belesuva nadabeku ulis balasiyu ulisalu nadabeku jaga uliyalu hi nadabeku na jaga uliyalu hi nadabeku jaga uliyalu gida nadabeku kadidu kadidu kanana baridu nele jala gaalige nele iradu hasiruli di jaga dusiragirali kanana ulisuva chalavirali devara kaadidu devara naadidu devara makkala tariyadiri the travels devara kaadidu devara naadidu devara makkala tariyadiri devara dariya nade nudi yaritu manavaragiye nareyutiri devara dariya nade nudi yaritu manavaragiye nareyutiri 
ಪಶ್ಚಿಮ ಘಟ್ಟದ ಬೆಟ್ಟಗಳೊಟ್ಟಿನ ನಿಸರ್ಗ ಸಗ್ಗವನ್ನುಳಿಸೋಣ ಪಶ್ಚಿಮ ಘಟ್ಟದ ಬೆಟ್ಟಗಳೊಟ್ಟಿನ ನಿಸರ್ಗ ಸಗ್ಗವನ್ನುಳಿಸೋಣ ನಿಸರ್ಗ ಉಳಿಸಿ ಆಗ್ರಹವಳಿಸಿ ನಿಸರ್ಗ ಉಳಿಸಿ ಆಗ್ರಹವಳಿಸಿ ಪ್ರಶಾಂತ ಜೀವನ ಕೆಳಸೋಣ ಪ್ರಶಾಂತ ಜೀವನ ಕೆಳಸೋಣ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಐಡಿಯಾ ವಾಟ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಕಲೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಆರ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ವೇ ಸೊ ಐ ಕನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡೆಡ್ ಮೈ ಪೇಪರ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಶಂಪಾ ದೈ ತೋಟಾಸ್ ದ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಸಾಂಗ್ so the stakeholders i hope you are all stakeholders of western ghat so if you have any other ideas you can share with me or if you have any questions about my paper you can discuss with me also so thank you for coordinators uh, thank you for atal scheme and thank you for my own uh, favorite college vcat and i hope uh all the stakeholders much alert about western god also thank you one and all thank you shesha kumar sir dear participants if you have any queries or uh, anything to share with the the resource person you can unmute yourself and uh, share with the resource person dear participants any questions related to the western guards or our roles in protecting the western guards you can discuss with the the resource person dr shreesha kumar he is having a vast experience he has done lot of uh, research work on western guards no sir actually the discussion is important here everyone has a responsibility yes sir correct sir hmm. any participants would like to ask any questions participants can give suggestions or they can give or they are present they can present their ideas so we have conducted so many rallies so many discussions seminars and everything but actual real stakeholders they should do something that is important those who are living in hotels of western ghat they should take care <laughs> okay the uh, okay participants how many uh, participants visited kumara parvat in uh, south kendra or poor uh, bidish uh, kumar parvat the second highest peak of western ghat anybody visited kumar parvata okay we can discuss in this way you can ask in canada also no problem anybody visited kumar parvata trekker kumar parvata the bangalore people it people they are coming but our own students or our own people they are not interested just i will give the example if you go, want to go to kumara parvata first you have to go to subramanya then you can ask somebody where is the trekking route just 1 km from subramanya you can see the route in this way where there is plastic bottle where there is gutka where there is chocolate wrapper you just serve the chocolate wrappers or vodka or plastic bottle 
and finally you reach to kumara parvata this is a situation of kumara parvata i will give one more example when i visited to gangotri himalaya three times i visited himalaya and i am trekked himalaya for three times just i will give the example of awareness of gangotri people or gangotri glacier uh, forest department when you are entering into gangotri forest check post they will check all the luggages they are checking bags and everything how much chocolate wrappers you have how much water bottle you have how much plastic carrying bag you have everything will be checked and it will be listed in a white paper and finally they are giving they are collecting 200 rupees penalty or a fine and they will give the receipt when you are start you are starting your trekking up to gomok or tapovan 15000 feet from sea level just imagine it is a totally glacier area high altitude area of course if you collecting the plastic or water bottle or everything and bringing to the check post just imagine how much water bottle you are collecting how much plastic wrappers you are collecting or whatever it may be the waste if you are collecting all these things and submit it onto into the gate wala or a forest department they say thanks and they are returning 200 rupees if you are throwing plastic or anything in that glacier area or gangotri glacier area they will give they will penalty you a fine you more than 500 rupees per head this is the awareness in himalaya or in gangotri but what about our kumar parvata it is in western ghat western ghat is the strongest one himalaya is the weakest one compared to himalaya western ghat is the strongest one is the oldest one but we are not bother about kumar western ghats even if you go to girigadde a uh, place in kumara parvata as uh, some malinas parvata uh, some agriculture land is there we can see acacia manjiam and uh, civilized trees we can call it as not cultured or uh, biodiversity trees acacia manjiam are very dangerous biodiverse or the plants in western ghat but we are growing we are growing acacia manjiam in western ghats this is a tragedy this is not the responsibility of state or we have to remove we have to uh, throw the acacia or manjiam to somewhere else to australia or somewhere else but we are planting acacia or manjiam this is the situation of uh, western ghat if you go to mala or belt in mala or uh, kudramukha road particularly kudramukha road is very clean but if you go somewhere else in mala or western ghat area the rivers are full of plastic bottles and plastic bags in subramanya just you see the kumar parvata or kumar dhara river it is full of water bottles so how we can maintain how what is the responsibility of stakeholders you discuss it hmm. okay anything okay we will conclude thank you dr shrisha kumar sir for a wonderful uh, lecture on uh, the western ghats thank you very much sir okay thank you thank you on behalf of uh, the organizers behalf of uh, management of vct i thank you once again thank you very much sir